bit of a problem. See what? I got this giant pile of video games that just randomly showed up. I have no idea how this happened. It's a huge mystery. So to get to the bottom of this, I've called a private investigator. That must be him! Drew Peterson, door opener. Zach Smith, my friends call me Harvey. P.I., at your service. What? No, I hired a private investigator. Yeah. Wait, so why are you wearing a chef's hat again? Well, you see, work as a chef on the side. So what seems to be the problem? Well, see, look here, I got this giant pile of video games and I have no idea where it came from. Really? You have no idea? I can't help you if you give me nothing to work with. Oh, see, this is why I wanted a private investigator, uh, P.I. Yeah. Something. We've all been there. What? Oh, sorry. If you want to hear my take, you got to hear all of my take. We've all been there. New video game. <laughs> Time to play Celeste again. Hey, look. New game. <sighs> I'm so close to finishing my... What is this? My 583rd playthrough of Celeste. Maybe another time. Ah, oh, see. What? Based on the information you've given me, I've started to narrow down the suspect list to Pope Francis, the governor of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker, my buddy Simon, me, and you. What? Me? That's insane! How could I have possibly done this? I'm not saying you did it, but just keep talking and we'll get to the bottom of this. Unlike other forms of media, video games can take a lot of time and attention to actually use. With a movie, you can just turn it on, wait a little bit, and then realize you just wasted roughly two hours of your life that you're never getting back. But afterwards, you can get up and never have to think about it again. And with a book, um... Uh, wait. I don't actually know how those work, but I assume you can get through them pretty fast. But video games can be ten plus hours long. Well, at least the ones that care, anyways. Pretty sure I could beat Sonic Forces faster than I could make a sandwich. Wanna test that theory? Absolutely. Alright, I'm back. How's the game going? Holy sh! Still, with video games, you have to give them your full attention the full way through. You can't just turn one on in the background, no, you have to actually play it! This can make starting new games hard sometimes. Since you actually have to pay attention and see a game through until the end, or at least until you get your fill with it, sometimes there's a certain mindset you have to be in before you start a new game. Now on its own, there's nothing wrong with this idea, just wait until you're ready to play the game and then play it. Simple, right? Well, this pile had to come from somewhere. The problem is that new video games are always coming out, and when you see one you want to play, you're like, GIMME, GIMME IT NOW, I WANT IT! Oh, well, now that I actually have it, I don't want to play it anymore. And so begins the birth of something dreadful. The backlog. See, we as video game players are very into the idea of, well, you know, playing video games. However, sometimes we find games that we really like and would like to keep playing them over and over again, or... We find really, really long games and put all of our time and attention into them. What are you talking about? I love all my kids. I would never forget about any of them. Aww. But even still, we keep buying new games because we want to play them, but we also don't know we want to play them, so they sit and rot on our shelves. I got Fire Emblem Three Houses like six months ago, and all I've done with it is put it on the shelf with the rest of my games. I haven't even put the cartridge in my Switch yet. Hell, I kind of keep forgetting I have it. We're making excellent progress here. We can knock Pope Francis off the list. Are you sure? Do you know Pope Francis? Uh, I might have seen him somewhere before. Where did you see him? Uh... Oh, the internet! Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So now suddenly, because you decided to stop paying attention for five minutes, you've got a lot of games you gotta play. Did to play Chronicles, huh? Well, I mean, I really like the second game. I mean, I put holy sh** hours into it, so I'll probably really like this game, too. F*** 
Okay, I'm going back to the second game. Of course, you gotta play these games some millennia, otherwise you just wasted your money. And no one likes wasting their money. Just look at all the sh** we buy. Look, I bought another sock. Only the necessities. How much did that sock cost you? Four. For what? For what? The thing is, why play a new game that you're not guaranteed to like when you could just keep playing a game you already know you like? But sure, by not playing the game, you risk wasting your money, but if you play it and don't like it, then you've also wasted your money. It's Schrodinger's video game. You gotta be fucking kidding me. I have commitment issues, okay? If I wanted to be judged for that, I would spend two minutes on the internet. Anyways, I think I can cut my buddy Simon off the list, and that just leaves... Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker, that sick son of a bitch. And you and me. See, I still think you're wrong about that. This is why I wanted to wait for a private investigator. Yeah. But even still, having a large backlog of physical games is still manageable. At least I could see all the games I have to go through, and they're all located in one convenient spot. Damn it! You know what I hate about paid online services? Free games. I mean, just look at all these games! They're just sitting here taunting me, begging to be played! So, I mean, I might as well. I'll gladly let Fire Emblem sit and rot on my shelf for another year if that means I get to play Jump Force. That was a mistake. Since game companies have streaming services with hundreds of games to play, that then adds hundreds of games to your backlog. Not sure, I'm not really dying to play like three fourths of these, but there's still a good few games a part of this that I do want to play. So that still adds more games to my backlog, games that take time, games that require my attention, games that I want to play but also do not want to play! Alright, enough, enough. Does this mean you solved the mystery? Yeah, I did. I don't think you're gonna like the answer. Charlie Baker, I knew it! That sick son of a bitch! No, that's that's not it. What? Uh, I think you're gonna want to sit for this. You're not gonna like the answer. Alright, you know what? If you say it's me, then you're not gonna like it. It's you. Get the f*** out of my house. And give me your magnifying glass too, because I like it and I'm keeping it. Well, that was a perfect waste of time. You know, the video game backlog may be daunting and kind of annoying, but that's still fun to keep whittling away at. You may not want to play all the games on it immediately, but chances are you'll get around to playing them all eventually. On the other hand, your backlog may never truly be empty. Since new games are always coming out, you might find something new that you want to play and add it to your backlog. But that's not something that should stress you out. You just play that game when you're ready for it. With all that being said, the moral of the story is... If you want an investigation done and done well, do not hire a PI. They are not going to come to the right conclusion and they are not going to put the effort in to solve your mystery. If you want an investigation done well, wait until you can hire a private investigator. I hear they do much better work and I wish I had waited for one instead. PIs are a scam!